There's some topics that get a little frustrating in their pedantry, but can really draw attention to the grand scope and mechanics in our universe. And this is definitely one of them. Now, we know looking through a telescope is like looking into the past, both out from and towards our Earth. We know that if alien ships were looking at the Earth right this moment from distant star systems, they could well be watching dinosaurs chomping on each other's adorable little faces. So how do we know what's actually going on right now in other parts of the universe? No matter how close together, the real challenge of defining now simultaneously for two different spots in the universe is that these points are always separated by a bit of distance. Since nothing can travel faster than light, it will always take some time for an indicator that an event has happened to reach you. So on the small scale, let's say your friend three meters away says, Enterprise was a terrible show. Right now, it'll still take about 10 nanoseconds from the light of your friend to reach you. And it'll take about 8 milliseconds for the sound of your friend's voice to reach you. And shortly thereafter, you'll decide to slap your friend because seriously, who needs that kind of negativity? Now you might say, that is close enough to be in the same now. As in, I slapped my friend just now because he said something stupid. For how our brains perceive time and the relative length of our lifespans, you can probably get away with it because sure, that's now. And we can consider a moment to occupy a span to encompass all these events. Although you, sh you shouldn't slap your friends. I mean, even if they say mean things and really didn't give the show a chance, you're lucky your friends won't have to wait too long to hear an apology from you as milliseconds after you say, I'm sorry, they'll hear you. Which for our purposes would be right now. Now, over larger distances, this doesn't quite work as well. So if you looked up in the sky and you saw Betelgeuse become a supernova, would you argue that it's happening now? Now, some people might say yes. Until you know about an event, you can't say it's happening. So, hey, look, that star is going supernova right now, is what your brain might think. You received an indicator, the event is beginning to happen, which for our purposes indicates it just started now. Except, as one of our viewers, you're way too smart for that. You would argue that since Betelgeuse is 640 light years away, the supernova actually happened 640 years ago. And it's just taken that long for the light to reach us. And we're all good so far. As soon as I started talking about light years, you knew what was going on. It looks like it just happened now. But aware, that's not the case. It happened before, we're only aware it's happening now. So here is where it gets weird. The most distant galaxy yet discovered is Z8 GND 5296. It's 3.4 billion light years away. So if we happen to observe a supernova in that distant galaxy, when would we say it happened? Now obviously, it's not just now. Because right? when the light we currently observe left that galaxy, it was about 3.4 billion light years away. So, should we say it happened 3.4 billion years ago? Sure, that sounds reasonable based on our Betelgeuse example. However, since our universe has been expanding, it actually took the light 13.1 billion years to reach us. So we could say it happened 13.1 billion years ago. So which one do we use? The real catch is that there's no cosmic definition of now in the universe. Because of special relativity, the rate at which time flows for a particular object depends upon your point of view and your velocity. For a rocket traveling near the speed of light, a journey to Alpha Centauri might take a week, but for us, it would seem like four years. As a result of relativity, even the meaning of simultaneous is relative to your point of view. The answer to what is happening now is, it depends. It depends on your frame of reference and how flexible your attitudes about now are. What constitutes a moment, and quite probably, how long lived your species is. I'm sure Jack Harkness and the nigh eternal face of Bo 
would give very different answers. Well, at least depending on when you ask them. So what do you think? How long is now? And more importantly, how soon is it? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Damon Reith and Curry the Vegan and the rest of the members who support us in our quest to make great space and astronomy content every week. Our community members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get in on the action? Click here. I'm sure Jack Harness and the nigh eternal face of Bo would back. give very... What? I'm going to wind you back. It's Jack Harkness. Harkness? Harkness. I said Harkness.